Ah, yeah, so this is the second video for the, the trig functions pack, the first lesson of it. Um, and we we're just looking at the different graphs. The, the one that's come from uh, cos, which is secant there, and this one up here, which has come from sine, which is cosecant, and it's one over it. To be fair, you calculate a graph set, but it's nice to see the pictures. Right, so we're looking on the next page in your pack. And there are some questions there for what we're going to do. Now, we're going to just simplify them. There's, a, there's an example one, and then there's a question for you as well. So I'll do the examples, but I want you to do the questions for you. Whether you use a completed pack or not, that's fine, whatever you want. Right then, so I want to simplify. So sine theta is fine, but cot, I'm going to see it as 1 over tan theta. And then secant, I'm going to see it as 1 over cos theta. Now, tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. So this is the same as sine theta times by cos theta over sine theta times 1 over cos theta. So they're all being multiplied together. So if you look, the cos thetas will cancel and the sine thetas will cancel. And I just get one out from there. Right. So the question for you, have a go at it and see if there's a final answer. You can get sine theta plus cos theta. That's what you're aiming towards. So give that a go, whether you do it now or do it after the other examples. So the second example says, if A is acute, such that secant A is 4, find the exact tan values. Now, we've done this before, but we've done it with sine, cos, and tan. Right, so my secant A is the same as 1 over cos. So I've got secant A is 4. So that's the same as 1 over cos A is 4. If I just flip everything upside down, so essentially cross multiply, what I'm saying then is cos A is a quarter. And if you remember, we have the right angle triangle. I've got two of the sides, so I've got the adjacent, and I've got the hypotenuse. And then I just need to use Pythagoras to work out the missing one. So that's going to be the square root of 4 squared minus 1 squared. So that's 16 to 1, it's root 15 there. Now that tells me then, if cos A is a quarter, then sine A will be opposite over hypotenuse, which is root 15 over 4. Now I want cosecant, and because cosecant is 1 over sine, then cosecant will be 1 over root 15 over 4. Oops. So cosecant A will be 4 over root 15. Now if you serve that, it will give you 4 root 15 over 15, if you serve it. Yeah. Okay, so B wanted cot, so I need tan. So I know that from the picture that tan A is opposite over adjacent. So if cot A is 1 over tan A, then cot A is 1 over uh, root 15 over 1. So cot A is 1 over root 15, but if you assert it, it'll be root 15 over 15 there. And then there's one for you to have a go at. Uh, so for, yeah, so have a go at that one. So draw your triangle out and see what you get for it. I'm not going to tell you what they are. Ha ha. Uh, right. So let's have a look at this example, because this is the last one. So given that tan A is minus 5 over 12. Oof. Now here's, here's interesting. That minus, if you remember, that's telling us that it's obtuse. And if you remember with the sine graph, there, 
and we split it. If you remember, we kind of split it with this. I'll draw the cos graph on the triangle, get it the cos graph lined up underneath it. There. And the tan graph as well. A bit easier with the tan graph, actually. There. If I look from 0 to 90, it should be this part here. So this is like the acute. And if you look, all the graphs are positive. But from 90 to 180, where it's obtuse, only sine is positive. Cos and tan both have negative y values. So this is telling us it's obtuse. It's telling us that sine will be positive, but cos will be negative. So you've got to remember that. That's important. So secant, we know, is 1 over cos A. Right, so let's have a look at our triangle. So tan is opposite over hypotenuse. Oops. It's a 12 there, isn't it? Hang on. There. Now I know that that's a Pythagorean triple, and that's 13. So cos of A is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. But because it's obtuse, I've got a minus in front of it. Secant is 1 over cos, so I'm just going to flip it. So it's minus 13 over 12 there. Well, that minus is really, really important. For B, where it's sine, why is it asking for sine then? That's a bit daft. So sine A would be just opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be 5 over 13. Well, that's positive because that's the only one that gets positive. Now we come to the end of that first lesson. There's a masses of consolidation questions. That's what our plan is in the lesson. So hopefully you've done this video and everything's kind of fine. That nice and fantastic. Right, I'll see you later. Bye bye.